In this video you will be learning about digital input and we're going to use that to tell the microcontroller to turn on the LEDs whenever you press the button on your demo board. So this is what you will be making today. Let's go ahead and write the code. So like always we include all the uh, libraries that we need. Of course we initialize the oscillator. Port C. Those are the uh, ports connected to the LEDs. So we want those to be off at first. We want the direction of port C to be output since those are the LEDs. The button is connected to a port A. So we make port A be input. This word just means analog select. And that is simply to make sure that our analog pins are set to digital. So when you give your analog select bit the value of zero, you're telling your microcontroller that you want all your analog pins to be treated as digital pins. If you set them to one, that means you want them to be treated as analog, but we won't need that for this project. Before we continue with our code, let's look at the schematic for the demo board. So at port C, I have my LEDs. At port RA3, I have my switch. Now notice this, when my switch is open, port RA3, is connected to V plus. If you push the switch, you make a connection between RA3 and ground. Now you might be thinking, well, even if I push the switch, RA3 is still connected to V plus. But actually when you push the switch, because there's less resistance, between RA3 and ground, RA3 will be connected to ground due to this 10K value, which has a greater resistance than the switch. So remember, for this circuit setup, if the switch is open, that's if you're not pushing the switch, then RA3 is connected to V plus or one. If you push the switch, RA3 is connected to ground or zero. Let's look into more detail at port RA3 since we have something interesting happening here. Notice that we have this wire connected to pin 1 of the programmer. The problem with that is that because the wire is connected directly to pin 3, even when we push the switch, the microcontroller will always read 1. So we're going to have to disable that functionality from the programmer using MPLAB and I will show you how to do that in a moment. So let's go back to MPLAB. So inside of our infinite while loop is where we're going to be checking if the button is pressed or not. When the button is pressed, like I said before, pin RA3 will be connected to ground or zero. So using an if statement, we check whenever RA3 is connected to zero. And so we turn on the LEDs. Otherwise, we turn them off. Now let's go ahead and see how to disable the pin 1 from the programmer I was talking about. So right click on your project folder, go to set configuration, customize, select pick kit 2 or whatever programmer you're using and make sure that 3 state on release from reset is selected and that should take care of the problem. Hit apply, hit OK. So this is all the code you need. Go ahead and upload it to your microcontroller and try it out. Thank you for watching.